Good morning, everybody. That was my attempt at a frittata, and it didn't turn out, I mean, it was delicious, but it didn't look pretty because you're usually supposed to bake a frittata, and my pan does not fit in my oven, so I decided I was going to flip it, but it still tasted good. It was delicious, and howdy, y'all. If y'all see, we have sun, and I feel like we haven't had sun in... I can't even recall last time I had a sunny experience like this. Oh, this campground has been heaven the past couple of days. Heaven. I'm telling you, we, I know you guys have asked, you know, how's it going to go in the winter time? Well, being our first winter, we kind of had a rough start because, you know, everything that happened happened in uh, November. So that kind of cut our plan short. And then, you know, we had Christmas and so we wanted to be with our families and we had to make a decision, either head Florida or Texas. And something was just telling me like, just go to Texas. I don't know what it is, but do you agree, Cody? Or? Oh yeah. We're in, uh, so we're in South Texas. Also, this is the furthest South in the United States we have ever been. We're in Corpus Christi Lake State Park, about 45 minutes West of Corpus Christi, the actual town or city. <laughs> It's a pretty large city from what we've heard. We still haven't been there yet. And we came down here just because we were looking at the weather and it's not supposed to get below, I think, um, 40. Yeah, it's not supposed to dip below the 40s. Plus, it's semi-dry and arid in this region. So we noticed when we were in New Orleans, even though the low was in the 40s, there was so much moisture in the air, more moisture than in Arkansas, that it it was cold it just felt so cold so as soon as the sun set it was it was cold it didn't matter if it was 50 degrees or 30 degrees it felt 20 degrees we were kind of thinking if we we're going to go to florida we had to go kind of on that coast right there before it dips down south and that is it's pretty um cold right there right now even in pensacola it's pretty cold it's not enjoyable and this there's no, even nobody in this campground right now and it is just fabulous it's really nice oh something i found out that's really cool corpus christi the name actually comes from the word meaning body of christ in latin back in 1519 some spaniards discovered the the bay which was a semi-tropical bay which is now the bay that corpus christi is located at and they found it on the feast day celebrating the body of christ so they named it after that Corpus Christi. I never knew what Corpus Christi meant. I've always heard of this area, this town or that city. But while we're here, and since we have new kayaks, those Viking kayaks, we're gonna take advantage of this lake. Mm -hmm. Today is going to be high of 78. So we're gonna get out on the water and I might do some fishing. <laughs> catch a thing we've been out here for two or three hours but it was nice just to get on the water today was a beautiful day and this whole area is beautiful especially that rock bluff but now we've got to put the boats back on the truck and get back to camp so we just got back from fishing and we literally just came from just right there but kelly found out she doesn't like you don't like like lure fishing you like that pop cork i don't know that was that was more fun I don't know. Was it because we were actually catching fish? I think. There you have it. I just got back from taking a shower and the showers here are amazing. And they're probably amazing because there is nobody else camping here right now. So it's like we're only sharing the uh, bathroom with maybe... There's like two other trucks I keep seeing drive over here from a different camping area. But it's so nice and Cody's on his way to take a shower now. I'll show you. So we're at number 84 and 
the bathhouse is right there. Cody's walking over there right now. So it's close enough that we can walk from our camp spot. I want to say this is one of the best camp spots after I've uh, we both paroled the whole area to kind of see where we want to stay if we want to stay here again and maybe the spot's taken this is like the best spot i know you've seen we got the trees these are the biggest mesquite trees i've ever seen in my life and i mean this is just a really sweet spot all in all it's the better out of all of them so this is number 84 and you can see the water from here we literally walked our boats down there when we took the boats down there and then we kept getting these little stickery things on our shoes because we had our chacos on so we thought well better just pick them up next time but yeah this is a really great campground we actually just extended our stay here because we have no idea where we want to go when we leave here well we have an idea but it's not set in stone so cody's gonna shower and then i'm gonna cook dinner that shower is phenomenal I could actually stay there for hours and hours. I think I was in there for a solid 30 minutes in that shower. Was it about 30? I don't know. I feel like I was in there for a while too, so. <laughs> but tonight for dinner, I'm gonna be making baked tacos. I haven't made these in a while. First thing we gotta do, which we've got some delicious grass-fed ground beef from Texas here. All right, yeah, so I'm just gonna get this uh, browned and we'll go from there. While that's browning, I'm gonna go ahead and get the taco seasoning mix ready. I love this brand. They have all kinds of mixes. They have guacamole, uh, fajita. Love it, love it. So good. So what we wanna do is just mix this with some water. I've got Colby Jack cheese, and some of this cheese is gonna go in the meat mixture, and then the rest of it will go on top of the tacos before I bake them. So we've got some taco shells. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my tray up. All right. Looks like my meat is done. We're gonna add the rest in here, which is going to be the taco seasoning with the water. And I've got some salsa. Now I'm just gonna add maybe this much cheese. So really we're just trying to soak up all the liquid and then we're gonna let that cheese melt. Also gonna add some lime juice. The ground beef is done. And this is how we're gonna do it. All right, we still got some meat left. Bread more if I need to. Now, let's bake the tacos. The temp should be at 400. It's a little higher than 400, but I just turned the heat down. It shouldn't take long for it to cool down. I think they're done. So it doesn't take long. You're really just baking it enough to melt the cheese. And then I just have some shredded lettuce that we're just gonna Dress on top of it. So you've heard of street tacos? This is camp tacos. <laughs> and it's, that's it. That's it. More lime? Oh yeah, you can do more lime on top. More lime. We got a fill, but it's still going to taste good. Oh, yeah. It's not an epic fill. It's just... It doesn't look very pretty. No, it's not a... We're going to have to eat it with a fork. It's not yeah. going to be your traditional pickup taco. It got kind of soft because the uh, hamburger. I wonder meat. if it was a parchment paper. It could have been. It kept moisture in there. Yeah. I put it in there, on there, because I was, you know, didn't want to have to wash a dish. But All right. Looks like we're ready to eat. Let me get a fork. That's like a taco. <clears throat> it does. It tastes really good. It's less messy when you use a fork anyway. 
Yeah. See, there it is. Yep. So even though this doesn't look like a taco, <clears throat> it's kind of like a nacho. We're just going to start making nachos from now on. <laughs> but it tastes really good. All the flavors there, it's real simple. But we're going to enjoy this for this evening and probably make a little tea. Mm -hmm. And then after we drink our hot tea, we will go to bed, retire, and we will see y'all in the morning. See ya. Good morning. We were just talking about how we just cannot believe that we basically have this campground to ourselves. This is insane. I'm a, it's just so peaceful. It's so nice. And I guess maybe it's because it's winter. It's winter. It's off season because we did talk to the people at Brent and they said it does get busy summer, spring, but it feels so good right now. I don't know why nobody would want to be here. Which is fine. I'm not yeah, complaining. I'm not complaining. But, I mean, this is just fabulous compared to other parts of the United States right now. Yeah, temperature-wise, for sure. We just checked on the weather just because we like to compare. And it's like low 30s, high 50s in uh, New Orleans area right now. And it's supposed to snow this weekend in, in Arkansas. Arkansas. <laughs> Jinx. And even the top part of Florida is cold right now. It's colder than here. So we're more south than Destin, Pensacola. And that's where we normally like to frequent in the spring. That's the best times to camp and enjoy the beach and the water there. Also positive of this area, there's low bug activity. There's a few mosquitoes, but it's not bad at all. Could you not just sit here all morning and just take that in? Mm -hmm. It's really hard to just get up and get going because we had plan we have plans today. We do have plans and uh, we're running out of daylight already. Also, I wanted to say I finally made crepes this morning, but I didn't use my new pan. I'm just not really sure about that pan anymore because everything keeps sticking. 
I even like put a lot of oil in there and you're not even supposed to use a lot of oil with crepes. And what's crazy is she she was like, I finally can make crepes because of the new pan. Mm -hmm. And then we she uses that flat skillet mm -hmm. and she says, wow, I could have made crepes this whole time. Yeah, this entire time. I mean, I haven't made crepes <laughs> since we lived in the house and I was just kind of upset about it because I love my crepes. Didn't you say you make a crepe with bacon? Yep, I was about to say I'm on a crepe kick, so you'll probably be seeing me make crepes with bacon and eggs, and then I put syrup on top. <sighs> so good. Sounds good. I'm full right now, but that does <laughs> sound good. But our plans today are we want to go ahead and head to Corpus Christi, check that area out, never been, and then we're going to head to Padre Island, which is about 20 minutes south of Corpus Christi. So we want to check that out. There's a campground there we want to check out too and see what it's all about before we just roll up in there and decide we want to stay there. We've heard a lot of people say that they <clears> camp <throat> there and we watched some other YouTubers that have stayed there and mm -hmm. the biggest complaint is the wind. Mm -hmm. And crazy windy. We just don't think we want to deal with that. But I did check the weather. It doesn't look like it's going to be that windy. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it. We're going to check the campground out, see what it's really about. I know there's only about four or five tent camping spots, and the other ones are back to back for RVs. So there wouldn't really be a lot of room to put a tent. So it's kind of first come, first serve. So I guess we need to get ready. I could really just stay right here all day. It's going to be another beautiful day here. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen the sun. All right. <sighs> okay. Let's hit the let's road. Let's go. Well, we are here on Padre Island, and we kind of thought it's a national seashore, so we kind of thought there would be a check-in area because we were going to use our parks pass. But I don't see one, so I'm oh, guessing... Oh, I see one. Oh, okay. There you have it. Never mind, I'm wrong. So, we're going to come up to the National Seashore area where you check in, and you'd have to pay as if you were in a national park. But if you have a parks pass, that works as well to get you in for the day. Camping, you'd still have to pay for that. Um, but we're going to ask them some information about the Malachi Campground, if it's first come, first serve, or if you can reserve online. I did not see a way to do that, but we'll find out. tent camp you can tent camp pretty much anywhere but this spot this looks like the area you would want and it looks like it's pretty packed so like I said first come first serve it's $14 a night and you pay at the front here not at the check-in station so right now there's nothing available for us Okay, I'm gonna go check out the restrooms real quick because it said rinse showers. I'm not really sure what that means. It's you got wa running water. It sounds like it should be a shower. And the wa temperature is really different. It was like 74 at our campground and it's like 67 here. So it looks like they actually have showers. So I guess if you drive down here and there's nothing available, you're just out of luck. It's a pretty long drive to be out of luck. Oh, there's Cody. I have to say this is gorgeous i was not expecting the water to be that pretty so kelly and i want to drive down a little bit further because supposedly there's some camping a little bit further down that you can camp on the beach and we just want to check it out see what it's all about i mean we've heard people say it's really windy here and it can be kind of difficult to uh have a tent camp in a tent on this island we don't know never been but we're gonna check it out This is 
so crazy. Uh, we have never driven on a beach before, so this is really fun to me. Check the temperature for the winds next week and it's looking pretty good so we might camp here. Stay tuned for that. But on the other agenda, uh, we are going to go back to Corpus Christi, check out a couple of things there. It's huge. They have anything you could ever want. So we're going to do that and bring you guys with us. Bartenders here told us a good spot to get dinner. It's called the Post at Lamar Park. So we're gonna try that. We're excited to go there. And by the way, South Texas, phenomenal. Oh my gosh. We we never knew. This is a last minute choice. Kelly and I were really thinking about going to Florida. And then all of a sudden she says, why don't we go to South Texas? Something was just in my soul was just telling me just to go to Texas. So we're here. And we're here and I'm digging it. I am I'm really loving, loving Corpus Christi, but we haven't eaten yet. So we got to try that first. So we'll catch you on the other. See you next time. Thank you. 